Did you know that the real difference between success and stagnation isn't just talent or luck? It's a combination of patience, dedication, and an unwavering focus on the fundamentals. If you want to truly transform yourself, whether in your career, relationships, or personal growth, there's a specific blueprint to follow, and it's not as complicated as people make it out to be. The best advice I've ever heard is that lasting success doesn't happen overnight. It takes hard work, resilience, and a commitment to self-discipline. In this video, we're breaking down exactly what it takes to achieve long-term success, from the power of consistency to the hidden strength in sacrifice. You'll learn why these principles are the quiet forces behind the success of the world's most resilient individuals. So, if you're tired of quick fixes and ready to build something real, keep watching. This isn't about shortcuts. It's about developing the mindset and habits that will keep you growing for life. Let's dive in. Number 1. The Power of Hard Work and Dedication When we think of hard work, it often brings up images of determination, grit, and perhaps a bit of sweat on the brow. For some, it's memories of studying late into the night, of practicing endlessly on a court or field, or of pushing through long shifts at a job. Hard work feels like the first lesson most of us learn, a core value woven into who we are. There's something about working hard that gives life a sense of purpose, something that tells us this is worth it. This is building something. But let's take a moment to go deeper beyond the simple idea of hard work as just putting in hours or pushing through. Imagine a craftsman working on a delicate piece, not out of obligation, but with passion, giving each part of his creation the attention and care it deserves. In this sense, hard work isn't just a grind. It's the heart and soul we pour into our efforts, whether we're creating art, building a career, or supporting a family. For a lot of us, there's a nostalgic quality to hard work. Think back to your first job or that project you stayed up all night finishing. Do you remember how fulfilling it felt, even if it was exhausting? Those memories are etched into who we are. They're part of the foundation of our character, built over years of small victories and the determination to keep going day in and day out. And as we age, Hard work transforms into something even more profound, dedication. Dedication means that hard work isn't just a tool we pull out when things get tough. It becomes a habit, a lifestyle. It becomes second nature. It's the fuel that gets us up in the morning and the reason we can put our heads on the pillow each night, knowing we're moving towards something meaningful. Think about this. What does hard work mean to you now? Is it about success, security, or something more? A sense of self-respect, maybe, or the satisfaction of building a legacy? Each one of us has a different answer, and that's where the curiosity comes in. What would it look like if you leaned even more into that dedication? What if each effort, each action, was a step towards something remarkable? Number two. The Role of Patience in Achieving Long-Term Success Patience, a word that sounds gentle and passive but carries a quiet strength. It's easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of modern life where everything is about speed, faster connections, instant updates, same-day delivery. Our world has become a constant race to get to the next thing as quickly as possible. And sometimes, it feels like patience is a forgotten art. Yet, the most beautiful things in life often require patience. Think about planting a tree. When you put a sapling into the ground, you don't see the results overnight. You water it, nurture it, protect it from harsh weather. And over time, with patience, that sapling becomes a strong, towering tree. Patience is the nurturing soil in which greatness takes root. As you look back on your life, can you recall a time when patience paid off? Maybe it was a long-term project that finally came together, a relationship that deepened over time, or a skill that slowly but surely became second nature. 
The nostalgia here is powerful because patience isn't just about waiting, it's about believing. It's about having faith in your own journey, trusting that each step forward, no matter how small, is bringing you closer to where you need to be. And there's a unique kind of satisfaction that only patience can bring. The satisfaction of knowing you didn't rush, you didn't cut corners, but instead embraced the full journey. Patience lets you savor the process, the growth, the small wins along the way. And with each passing day, you're not just moving toward your goal, you're evolving. Becoming someone who knows the value of resilience and inner strength. Now, here's where it gets interesting. What if you could redefine your relationship with patience? What if instead of seeing it as waiting, you could view it as cultivating? Each day, each effort is like watering a seed. There's a curiosity in wondering what the fruits of that patience will look like. How will the things you're nurturing today bloom in the future? Patience gives you the unique power to invest deeply in what you truly want to grow. Number three, sacrifice, letting go to grow. Sacrifice, it's a word that often brings mixed feelings. It's one thing to work hard and another to sacrifice, to willingly give up something of value. For many of us, sacrifice feels a bit like loss. Yet, if we dig deeper, we find that sacrifice is less about giving something up and more about clearing the way for something greater. It's a powerful choice, a conscious decision to prioritize what truly matters, even when it means leaving something else behind. We all have stories of sacrifice, don't we? Moments when we made a choice to let go of something, Perhaps it was a job that wasn't fulfilling, a friendship that had become toxic, or a comfort zone that was holding us back. There's a bittersweet nostalgia here, a kind of poignant memory that reminds us of the courage it took to make those decisions. Sacrifice requires a special kind of bravery, one that says, I'm willing to let go today to create a better tomorrow. When you reflect on those moments of sacrifice, what stands out? Is it the struggle of letting go? Or the peace that came afterward? The sense of clarity and purpose? In a way, sacrifice is about setting ourselves free from what no longer serves us. It's like carrying a heavy backpack up a mountain, then finally deciding to leave it behind, feeling lighter, freer to continue the journey. The beauty of sacrifice is that it opens the door to growth. Every time we choose to let go, we're creating space. Space for new opportunities, for new relationships, for new versions of ourselves. And as we release what weighs us down, we gain a clearer vision of what truly matters. And here's the question that brings us into curiosity. What would you be willing to sacrifice today to make room for something extraordinary? What comfort zone, habit or belief could you release to step closer to the life you envision? It's a powerful thought, isn't it? The potential of sacrifice lies in its ability to transform, to take us from where we are to where we dream of going. Each choice to let go is a step toward becoming the person you're meant to be. Number four, consistency, the quiet force behind transformation. Think of the satisfaction you get from a simple ritual, a morning coffee, a jog through your neighborhood, or a few minutes spent reading each day. There's a sense of peace, a grounding that comes from those repeated actions. Consistency is that quiet force, often overlooked in the pursuit of greatness, yet it's the cornerstone of any real transformation. But what exactly is it about consistency that creates such powerful change? It's not flashy, and it doesn't offer instant results. That's precisely why it's so essential consistency compounds effort. Each small step, done day after day, builds up a foundation that becomes unshakable over time, whether it's practicing an instrument, working toward a healthier lifestyle, or building a career. Consistency is what separates fleeting motivation from true, lasting progress. Now, think back to a time when you tried to master something new, a skill, a hobby, 
or a personal goal. At first it was exciting, fueled by the freshness of something new, but as the initial thrill faded, so did the ease of sticking with it. Maybe it was learning to play the guitar, taking up painting, or building your endurance through running. The people who become proficient or even excellent aren't always the ones with natural talent, they're the ones who show up regularly, the ones who choose to continue even when progress feels slow. Consistency, in a way, is like planting a seed. You don't get to enjoy the fruits immediately, and there are moments when you may even question if anything will grow at all. But over time, those small daily actions yield a result that seems almost magical. You might have read or heard about this concept of compounding, but it's rarely appreciated just how profound it is in every area of life, whether in finance, relationships, or personal development. Consistency compounds results into something far greater than the sum of its parts. But how does one remain consistent, especially in a world filled with distractions and endless demands? This is where routines, habits, and small commitments come in. It's not about making one big push, but breaking down your larger goals into manageable actions. If you want to build a stronger body, commit to just a short workout every day. If you aim to read more, start with a page or two each night. These small, consistent steps, taken over time, become a force that can carry you to heights you couldn't have anticipated. Number 5. True Discipline – Creating Systems for Success Have you ever marveled at the dedication of an athlete, artist or entrepreneur and wondered, how do they stay so disciplined? It might appear that they're gifted with an iron will, that their discipline comes naturally, but here's the truth, they've built systems that allow them to thrive. True discipline isn't about forcing yourself to do something every day. It's about creating an environment where success becomes almost inevitable. To illustrate this, think of the story of Odysseus from Greek mythology. While he was known for his bravery and intelligence, one of his most famous acts was not a feat of strength, but an act of strategic discipline. When faced with the deadly sirens, whose songs had lured countless sailors to their doom, Odysseus didn't rely on sheer willpower to resist them. Instead, he asked his men to tie him to the mast of his ship and plug their ears with wax. He created a system that would make failure virtually impossible. It's a story that has endured for centuries, because it embodies a profound truth. Discipline is less about struggling against yourself and more about setting up the conditions for success. In today's world, this concept is known as choice architecture. By shaping your environment, you make it easier to stick to good habits and harder to fall into destructive ones. Think of athletes who keep junk food out of the house or writers who turn off their internet to avoid distractions. These are systems that turn discipline into something sustainable. If you remove the obstacles that often lead to procrastination or temptation, the path to your goals becomes smoother. Now, think back to a time in your own life when you tried to stick to a new habit but found it difficult. Maybe you wanted to exercise regularly but your gym was far away, or you wanted to save money but you were always tempted to spend. Often it's not that you lack the discipline, it's that the environment isn't set up to support it. The Stoics, like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, understood that discipline is less about fighting your nature and more about working with it. They would regularly practice small acts of self-denial or create routines that made their principles easier to live by. The beauty of creating systems for discipline is that it allows you to focus on what truly matters without expending endless energy. You no longer need to rely solely on willpower, which, as studies show, is a finite resource. Instead, your environment and your systems become the scaffolding that supports your journey. Just as an architect designs a building to stand tall, you can design your life to make discipline almost effortless. Number six. Self-confidence rooted in resilience and experience. 
Remember the feeling of achieving something you once thought was out of reach. Maybe it was learning to ride a bike, giving a public speech, or landing that first job interview. That swell of pride, that sense of I did it, wasn't just about the achievement itself. It was about the confidence that came with knowing you were capable, resilient, and prepared to face challenges head on. Real self-confidence isn't about blind optimism or empty affirmations. It's about building a foundation rooted in resilience and experience, where each success, each failure, and each lesson becomes a brick in the structure of who you are. True confidence comes from knowing that no matter what, you can handle what life throws your way. Not because you'll always succeed, but because you know you can recover and grow from every experience. Think back to a time when you faced a setback and came out stronger. Maybe it was a tough breakup, a lost job opportunity, or a personal disappointment. At the time, it may have felt like the end of the world, but looking back, you probably see how that experience taught you resilience. Each time you rise from a failure, you're not just returning to where you were, you're building a more robust, more unshakable confidence. In Japan, there's an art form called Kintsugi, where broken pottery is repaired with gold, resulting in a piece that is even more beautiful than the original. This is what true self-confidence looks like. It's not about being flawless, it's about embracing your scars, knowing they make you stronger and more unique. Confidence built on resilience isn't flashy, but it's durable. It doesn't rely on the validation of others or a perfect track record. This kind of confidence says, I am enough as I am, scars and all, because I know what I've overcome. Every principle we've covered, hard work, patience, sacrifice, consistency, discipline and confidence, is part of the journey toward a resilient and fulfilled life. Success isn't a single moment or achievement, it's the result of all these values working together. When you commit to these, you're building something that lasts, something truly meaningful. Remember, this path isn't just about reaching a destination, it's about transforming into the best version of yourself along the way. If you've made it this far, Drop a hundred in the comments to show you're part of the 0.01% who follow through and finish what they start. And if you're truly committed to changing your life, make sure to join our community by hitting that subscribe button.